Hey guys, it's Jeff and today we are actually going to be taking a look at a workaround for one of the more important screen time features in the new iOS 12 update. So let's go ahead and hop on the iPhone here and let's just talk about what's going on. So if we go into settings and then onto screen time, um, a lot of parents will be using this feature to basically uh, restrict access to their child's phone. So if we go and set it up here, this is like the first menu that you get basically explaining all of the new features. And if you set it up as your child's phone, this will allow you to manage manage your child's use via screen time. So if we just go and skip all of that, go ahead and click continue and we enter our passcode, this will allow us to control our child's phone, our proverbial child's phone. So um, one of the new features within screen time is downtime. And basically this is scheduled time away from the phone. So um, if your child has a bedtime that they need to abide by, maybe it's 10 p.m and they need to be sleeping until 7 a.m., then you can set downtime from 10 a.m. to, or 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. So essentially the phone will be blocked through that, throughout that time. So let's go ahead and show you an example of how you can get around this or how your child could get around this. So let's go to 10 a.m., let's go to nine, let's go ahead and set it to 9.06. So um, let's go to 7 p.m. And yeah, we just set our downtime. If we go open up an app, it will work. And we have five minutes remaining until downtime. I'm not sure. I think that's just the standard five minute countdown. But obviously we have much less time. So if we go into the app store, it works. If we go into notes, it works. Um, you know, everything's working right now. Uh, as normal as a normal phone would so let's go ahead and wait just another couple of seconds so we just passed the 906 mark and everything has now shut off so basically we have reached our time limit we can ask for more time but your child will not have the screen time passcode that you set so obviously they couldn't get around it that way but one of the things that they can do is just change the time. So if you go into settings and then you go onto general and then onto date and time, you can take off set automatically and you can actually change this time to before the period. So of which the um, screen time started, obviously they would need to know that, but I'm pretty sure that they, they would pick on, uh, up on that pretty quickly. So we can go ahead, change the time um, we have to actually change it past. So let's go ahead, change it past. Um, so if we go 8 p.m., yeah, I think we set it to 7 p.m. So we go ahead, set it past, there, everything's unlocked. They can go ahead and use whatever apps they want to um, quite freely. All you have to do is change the time. Now, this is a very simple workaround around the downtime feature. I'm sure Apple has thought about this. Maybe some people have complained to them. I have seen this complaint via um, Reddit forums and everything like that. So hopefully this is fixed. I know if you go into the settings app and then go into restrictions, there's a passcode there. Maybe the passcode could be implemented into the date and time um, menu, who knows? But right now, as of now, this is a workaround, a pretty easy one around the downtime feature within screen time. So guys, that was just sort of like an informational video. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions about this video, please link them down below or type them down below in the comment section and I will get back to you ASAP. Anyways guys, thank you all for watching and make sure to get subscribed so we'll see you in our next video. This video is sponsored by DimSquid. DimSquid is a website hosting service where you can go and search for and purchase a domain for your website and then DimSquid will then host your website for under $4 a month, which is obviously super cheap. To make it even better for all of you tech review viewers out there, DimSquid is offering you guys 75% off your purchase by using the offer code TECHREVIEW. So check it out and get started today with your new website hosted by DimSquid.